Hey there, welcome to Jet Setting with Jackie. If this is your first time here, my name is Jackie. And if you are coming back to see me, thank you for stopping by. In this week's video, I will be talking about what it was like looking for a rental property in Jamaica. If you're interested in finding out what it was like or what it is like to look for a rental in Jamaica, stick around. When I decided to start living in Jamaica, I know that I needed to find a place to live. I already knew that I wanted to live on the North Coast because that's the closest place to my family members. Prior to this, I was already going back and forth to Jamaica a lot. And while doing so, I decided to kind of step away from the resort type of vacation and start doing, say, the Airbnbs and um, rental properties. So I wanted to give myself the opportunity to see what it was like to take care of myself, go grocery shopping, cook my own food, clean up after myself, just to experience what living here would be like. I'm so happy that I did that because I think that gave me the best insight as to what to expect when I actually decided to take that leap and come and stay here. First place I started to look for an apartment is Google, of course. You Google apartments for rent in Jamaica or houses for rent in Jamaica. I particularly preferred the houses mainly because I had rented Airbnbs and I really enjoyed the feel of a house more so than a condo. So during my process, I kind of figured out that I wanted a house. So I started looking for houses. I checked Airbnb first because that's where I initially rented from. And then I started looking at a website called JA Classifieds Online. And I also looked on websites that had to do with like real estate because I knew they have houses that they were renting. So I rented four different properties while in Jamaica. The first property I rented was a two bedroom house in Richmond Estates over at the Palms. The house is really a three bedroom. So I only had access to two, which was fine. The rent for that place was $1,200. I decided to pay my rent up front so I wouldn't have to think about it. I moved into the house at the end of July and while living in the house, the first few weeks, I started to realize that it wasn't for me. Uh, the person that I originally rented from introduced me to someone that she knew that had another property on the cool shade side. That was a three bedroom house. I learned a lot of lessons from the second rental property. During this rental experience, I learned about the laws in Jamaica, what should and shouldn't be in my lease. Because I transferred the first rental over to the second rental, my rent stayed the same. It was $1,200 that I paid. I stayed at that property from August to October. The third place that I rented was another property in Richmond, and this one was also on the Palms side. And that rent was $1,350. It was a three bedroom as well. And I rented that place from November until June. In June, I moved. So the house that I'm currently living in was a rental for me initially this is the house that I ended up purchasing. Um, so now it's home. I wanted to provide you with some tips on what to look for when you are looking for your rental properties. If you are going to use websites, even Airbnb, or the jaclassifiedonline.com that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, please beware of scams they are prevalent on there if it sounds too good to be true that means it is too good to be true it's that simple so please be mindful of scams the second thing 
that I learned from my rental experiences. Do not, I cannot stress this anymore. Do not pay your rent in full, ever. I learned that the hard way, okay? So take my advice, learn from my experience, do not pay up front. If you get a lease, even if it's a good deal, pay it rent, pay your rent monthly. Whatever it is each month, pay it monthly. Do not pay up front. Also, when you move into the property, document everything. Of course, that goes without saying. It happens wherever you rent. Just document it. Do a walkthrough. People will say things or try to say things that aren't true. So in that case, just make sure you have your proof. Document all the things that you see. If something's broken, make note of it. If it's not working, take a picture of it, video record it. Just make sure that you cover your behind. Something else to think about when renting a property in Jamaica is what is included in your rent. Is electric included? Is water included? Is gas included? Is lawn care included? Is housekeeping included? In two of the properties that I rented, housekeeping and lawn care were included in the price of the rental. However, I had to pay my own cable, my own electric, and um, my own water. Did I have to pay my own water? I don't know. Maybe I did. I can't remember. Either way, those are the utilities that you would typically have to pay if you are renting um, in Jamaica, similar to anywhere else that you live. The good thing is, for the most part, water and cable in Jamaica, I find to be less expensive than it is in the US. However, electric in Jamaica is super expensive. Jamaica is known to be one of the countries with the highest cost of electricity. I Googled it because I was like, WTF, why is electric so high here? JPS is the only electric company in Jamaica. So I don't know, maybe that tells you something about the market. There is only one company that provides electricity. So whatever they charge us is what you pay, unless you decide to go solar. Final tip is to make sure that you have an ironclad lease that is inclusive of the things that are important to you whether that includes your deposit back, you being able to leave early if needed, if there are certain things that you require as far as like lawn care and housekeeping, that all of those things are addressed. In Jamaica, there is um, a rent assessment board. So if you do have issues with your landlord that is causing you grief, you can reach out to them. They will do whatever they can to assist you. In my case, I had to reach out to them. And of course, I'm still dealing with my issue, but it is what it is. The Jamaican system moves very slowly. So I'm just gonna have patience and let things play out how they will. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully the information that I shared with you is valuable. If you enjoyed it or if it helped you in any way, please go ahead and like this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. That way you are notified whenever I post another video. All of my videos will build off of each other. So if this is the journey that you're on of coming back to Jamaica or coming here to live on a short or long-term basis, please look out for my videos. I will be posting videos weekly. Until next time, see ya.